Okay, now we're getting access. There's no incision. There's no, we don't perform a nick in the groin. Pressure in your wrist. This sheath is very sharp. So we don't, does not require uh, a nick in the patient's wrist. In order to double check the access, we always, before doing anything, make sure you're intravascular and then we are intravascular. Injecting, sailing back in. How much is systolic? It is 153 over 89. 153 of systolic. So then we always like to uh, ask systolic before inject nitro. We're going to inject our vaso dilator is 200 microns of nitro. Monica, 200 microns injected. Okay. And now we're going to flush nitro. Nitro injected. In order to secure access, we always like to clean here the, the gel, and then we use an upside to secure access. The sheet is hydrophilic as it should be. Ideally, a hydrophilic sheet is the best way to prevent this spasm. And then we perform an angiography of the radial artery. Angiogram to understand anatomy, to understand variation of anatomy, and that's the end point right there where we have the backflow through the arch showing that she has a patent complete arch. After that, we like to flush saline to remove the contrast from inside any blood from the sheet. Now we're ready to get access. Getting access, as you can see, one small detail. The Jackie catheter has a curve that helps to go around the aortic arch, coming from the left subclavian artery around the arch, and helps tremendously to go around the aortic arch. Very important when you have a uh, type 3 or aortic arch, very, hor uh, very horizontal aortic arches. Also important to understand some of the catheters will have a side hole. So if you can zoom in here in my finger. This side hole is important to know because sometimes the wire goes through the side hole, but the microcatheter will not. So it's important to understand that you need to push the microcatheter tip all the way to match the tip of the 5 French catheter, and then you can advance the microwire through. Doing that, you never have a situation of having the microwire off through the side hole and not be able to push the catheter. So now we have a preloaded wire. Show, show it up, please. The wire is preloaded. We're actually using here a 1.5 1, 1. Uh, millimeter tip, 1.5 millimeter radius tip. It's a hydrophilic wire and we will see how it's going to behave around the aortic arch. Very good. Recording the hand now. Ready to push? Yes, sir. Push the wire, please. What do we need the best driver now? Now we're getting access. Let's try to, without stop. Keep holding. Breathe. Excellent. Excellent job. Let's save the image, please, in native. To the side. So now we're going to get access to deliver with a microcatheter. We're using here a prograde 2.8. Push the wire, please. Through the 5 French Jackie catheter coaxially. Using a 2 bores here. We just want to flush some saline to prevent clot formation inside. Do we have heparin on board? No. How much do you want? 3,000, please. How much is systolic? 127. Thank you. Now we're doing a selective injection of the common, common hepatic. Breathe normal, ma'am. We're using a micro cathode prograde 2.8 with a preloaded wire. 
And because this patient has bilateral liver disease, diffuse disease, we're going to do a very proximal embolization today of the right side only with the goal to preserve and see how is going to be her response. And then we're going to embolize in the future both sides. So today is to embolize only one side with bland embolization as this patient has neuroendocrine. probably can. We are out of the cystic. We have bilateral here. Let's make it up twice, please, in collimation up and down. Just a bit more, that's it. Just avoid reflex, stay away from the GDA as much as we can. And now we're going to start the embolization of the right guided low branches. Perfect, right there.